paano mag-add and subtract ng fractions with the same denominators. Tara't pag-usapan natin yun dito. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at mag What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. Andito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give humor. Narito ako para tulungan ka na tulungan ang sarili mong matuto sa pamamagitan ng math pinadiling, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lesson. Now, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell para updated ka sa latest videos natin dito si Humor PH. And without further ado, let's get to our discussion. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, proceed naman tayo sa kung paano abo mag-add and subtract ng fractions. Let's start this discussion by discussing yung pag-add at pag-subtract kapag similar yung fractions. Anong ibig sabihin ng similar? Kapag po similar fractions, ibig sabihin nun, uh, yung fraction na same ang denominator. Again, yung denominator nila ay common na or parehong-pareho yung denominators. Ayan. So, sa addition and subtraction po, inatihati ko ito into three parts. First is this one. So, didiscuss natin muna paano yung mag-add and subtract ng similar fractions. Sa second naman, paano mag-add and subtract ng dissimilar fractions. Ibig sabihin, the denominators are not the same. Tapos yung dulo, addition and subtraction naman ng mixed numbers. So yun, you heard it right. So dito, hiniwalay ko yung mixed numbers. Kasi merong mas madaling way to add and subtract mixed numbers. Kaya, separate natin siya pag-uusapan. Ayan. So let's start our discussion with this one. Ayan. So let me first give you the step-by-step -step process on how you are going to solve this problems. Ayan. Ano yung mga step-by-step? -step? Ayan. In addition or subtraction ng similar fractions. Step number one, copy the bottom number or the denominator. Diba? Ang ilalim ay tinatawag na denominator. But I'll call it this time na bottom number para kita natin agad or para uh, alam natin na ay sa ilalim ang pinag-uusapan. Denominator ang pinag-uusapan. Ayan. Tapos, after natin gawin yan, we're going to add or subtract the top numbers. Ayan. So, I'll call naman, uh, top numbers yung numerator. Same lang naman ang ibig sabihin na. Ayan. Add or subtract. So, kasi depende yun sa operation na given sa atin. In step number 3, simplify or get the lowest term if possible. Kapag possible, ayan, lowest term pa natin siya. Ayan. O kaya kung naka-improper, gawin natin siyang mixed number. Ayan. Alright. So, let's start with our first example. Alright, so let's start with this problem. 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5. Or 1 fifth plus 3 fifths. Yan to. Let us first see kung pasok ba siya dito sa ating uh, criteria. Kasi kailangan tignan mo muna kung uh, similar fractions ba o hindi. Again, once we see similar fractions, they have the same denominator. So let's check. Denominator or the bottom number, 5. 5 dito sa unang fraction. 5 din sa pangalawang fraction. Ayan. So, similar ito. Because they have already the same denominator. Ayan. So, ganun po ang pag-identify ng similar fraction. Tingin ka lang lagi sa ilalim yung bottom number, number. Dapat same sila. Ayan. So, kung tama na, kung similar na, then let's proceed to our step number 1. So, let's do our step-by-step -step process. Unang gagawin, copy the bottom number or the denominator. So, ganito lang. Kopyahin mo lang siya. Ayan. So, magkakreate tayo ng isang fraction. This will serve as our final answer. Ayan. Itong fraction na nandito sa right. Ayan. So, isa lang over 5. Kukopyahin lang natin yung parehong denominator na yan. And that is 5. Ayan. So, yun ang first step natin. So, tuloy tayo sa step number 2. Ang step number 2 sabi dyan, add or subtract the top numbers. So, ang top numbers dito ay yung 1 saka yung 3. So, i-add ia down natin or it's a subtract, depending on the problem given. So, dito, ang given sa atin ay addition. Tama? Plus. So, ibig sabihin, i-add natin. Add the top number. So, plus lang natin ng simple. That's 1 plus 3. Again, plus mo lang yung dalawa. 1 plus 3. And that will give us 4. Ayan. So, okay na. Tapos, 
Okay na, na tapos tayo sa step number one. Kinopya lang natin yung bottom numbers. Sa so number two naman, kinopya, ay, inad natin yung uh, top numbers kasi addition yung operation. Then yung last step natin ay simplify. So we have to simplify kung kaya. So in this case, yung 4 over 5 naman kasi, hindi na siya pwedeng ma-divide. Diba? Ayan. Tapos, wala na rin siyang GCF na makukuha. And that will now be the final answer. Ganun lang po kasimple. O, take note ha sa step number 1, we are not adding the denominators. Kasi that is the common mistake ng karamihan. So, beware, kapag same, or kapag nag a tayo ng fraction, ayan, kailangan maging the same yung denominator ng given natin. Ayan, tapos kokopyahin lang, hindi siya ginagalaw, kinokopya lang yung uh, same na denominator na yan, or same na bottom number. Ayan. Sige, let's have another example. For example, number 2, at a subtraction naman tayo, 7 over 9 minus 4 over 9. Ayan. So, let's do the step-by-step -step process ulit. So, step number 1 natin, since uh, common yung denominator nila, since similar fraction ito, so, pwede natin gamitin yung step na uh, ito, yung step 1, step 2, and step number 3 natin. Bakit? Kasi nga po, similar yung fraction. Ibig sabihin ng similar fraction, same ang denominator. Same ang denominator. Tandaan, denominator. Hindi po ang numerator. Kasi baka makonfuse kayo na kapag parehong 9 yung taas, similar din po ba yan, sir? Hindi. Ang similar lang po, kapag yung baba ang pareho. Ayan. So, I hope you are clear about that. Ayan. So, next, ayan nga, step number 1 natin, copy the bottom number. Ano bang ba bottom number dyan? That's 9, or the denominator. So, equal lang siya. Ayan. So, ito na yung form ng final answer natin sa dulo. So, i-over 9 mo muna para, ayan, para magawa natin yung step number 1. So, kopyahin mo lang lagi yung ah, kung ano man yung bottom number na yan. Then, after that, syempre yung step number 2, add or subtract the top numbers. Ang top numbers natin ay 7 saka 4. Pero, in this case, we are not going to add. Saan nga po nakadepende yung operation? Of course, dun sa operation na given sa atin. So, since minus ito, i-minus natin yung taas. So, that's 7 minus 4. And that 7 minus 4 is 3. Right? Diba? So, 3 over 9. Now, kung sure ka na na wala naman talaga itong lowest term pa, pwede mo nang i-box. But, ayan. So, sa step number 3 kasi natin, diba? We are going to check kung possible pa siya na i-lowest term. I-lowest term natin. So, check natin. Isipin natin mabuti si 3 sa kasi 9. Ayan. Si 3 sa kasi 9 kaya, meron kayang isang number na pwedeng makadivide sa kanilang dalawa. Let's think about that. Yes, di ba? Kasi yung 3 sa 9, parehong divisible sa 3. That means, pwede ko siyang i-divide pareho sa 3. Tama? Yun ang tinatawag na GCF. Yung number, pinakamataas na number, na pwede mong i-divide dun sa dalawang numbers na given dito. Sa numerator sa kasa, denominator. So, sabi natin 3. Ayan. So, divide natin to sa 3. Of course, kung anong ginawa sa taas, gagawin mo sa baba. Divide din yung 3 sa ilalim. And divide mo lang. Simple. Ayan. So, ito yung step number 3 natin ha. Yung sinisimplify natin. So, 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. Tapos, 9 divided by 3, the answer is 3. Ayan. And that will now be the final answer. Ayan. Alright. Sige, isa pa. 11 over 6 plus 7 over 6. Okay, let's do the step by step process. Pero, bago tayo mag-proceed doon, make sure muna natin na similar fraction ito. Similar fraction, yes, kasi nga po, yung denominator saka yung isa pang denominator ay pareho na. ba? 6 saka 6. So, similar fraction ang tawag dito sa fraction na dalawang yan. Ayan. So, first thing we have to do, we have to copy the denominator. That's 6 so over 6. Ayan. Maglalagay ka lang ng over 6 muna, agad-agad. Uh, kapag similar yung fraction. Step number 2, add or subtract natin yung top numbers. In this case, Diba? Naka-plus. So, add tayo. Add natin yung top numbers dito. 11 plus 7, that is 18. Tama? So, 18 over 6. Tapos, after that, simplify natin. Simplify kung kaya. So, in this case, kaya na ba siyang ma-divide? Ayan. Pwede mo kasi i-consider yung division. Baka kaya nang i-divide yung dalawang numbers na yan. Kung hindi naman, hanapan mo ng GCF. Ganun siya. So, in this case, kaya kasi ma-divide si 18 sa 6. Diba? 18 divided by 6, makakakuha tayo ng whole number na sagot. Right? Ano nga ba ang 18 divided by 6? Sir, bakit nga po divide? Yeah, maybe you're asking, bakit divide? Sir, bakit nilitahin? Kasi nga po ang fraction, 
yung mere fraction na ito, yung itong fraction na yan, ang operation po niyan ay division din. So, pwede siyang 18 divided by 6. Atong over na to, that could also mean division. So, 18 divided by 6. So, what is 18 divided by 6? 3. Ayan. So, yan na yung simplifying natin. Then, after that, i-box mo na yung 3 because that is now our final answer. Again, 18 divided 6 ay 3, so okay na yan. So, ganun, kapag nakita mo na yung fraction ay sir, divisible na po yung dalawa, pwede ko na siyang i-divide. I-divide mo na lang. Ayan. So, this is now our final answer. Alright, so let's have another one. 25 over 7 minus 10 over 7. So, let's do the step-by-step -step process. But first thing we have to do nga, we have to check kung similar yung fraction. Yes, similar. Kasi parang po siyang 7, sir. Correct. So, ganun siya, ha? Again, don't mind the numerator. In identifying kung similar or dissimilar, tingin ka lang lagi sa bottom numbers. Yung denominator na yan. Kailangan the same sila. So, let's do the step-by-step -step process. Copy the bottom number. So, in this case, that's 7. So, equal. Over 7 muna ang ilagay natin. And after that, either subtract the top numbers or the numerators. So, in this case, subtract ang kukuha ni natin. Kasi minus dito. So, 25 minus 10, that is 15. Tama? Ayan. Tapos, sa step number 3, kung possible lang naman, isimplify natin. Now, yung number dito, or yung fraction na nakuha natin sa final answer, actually, hindi pa siya final answer, ay naka-improper fraction. And ba nare-require tayo ni teacher na kapag improper fraction, we have to change that into mixed number. So, let's change this into mixed number. Ayan. So, paano nga yung ginagawa? You're just going to divide 15 and 7. So, 15 sa loob, tapos... 7 sa labas. Ganito yung complete na long division process. 15 divide 7. Again, 15 ay sa loob. 7 ay sa labas. Tapos tuloy mo lang yung long division na yun. And we have this. Kapag may remainder na, okay na. Tigil ka na. So, ganito ang mangyayari. Paano magsulat ng final answer ng mixed number? Ganito po siya. So, again, mag-perform ka lang ng letter J. Taas. So, 2 and 1 over 7. Kung anong dinadaanan ng letter J ng uh, sinulat natin, ganun din natin siya isusulat sa ating mixed number. So, that will become 2 and 1 kasi siya ang sunod na dinaanan, 7. So, that will now be our final answer. Now, if you want to know yung complete process nito, you may watch my video about uh, changing mixed number to improper and vice versa. So, ando naman yung full details kung paano mag-change na improper to mixed and yung kabalik tara naman. Ayan, so, that's 2 and 1 over 7. And that will now be the final answer. Ayan. Now, if you are ready, let's have our humor jail. So, ayan. So, I'll give you two items to answer here. Ayan. Number 1 task number 2. So, I'll pause for a while now and I'll get back to you to give the answer. But if you still need time, feel free to pause the video. Your timer starts now. Alright, time's up. So, let's answer number 1. So, ayan. 16 over 15 minus 4 over 15. So, first thing we have to do, check natin kung similar fraction ba ito. So, similar siya, sir. Kasi nga po, same ang denominator niya. So, right. So, para sa 15, therefore, this is similar. Then, we can uh, proceed to our step-by-step -step process. Yung 3-step na gagawin natin. Una, di ba, copy the denominator. And copyin lang natin yung 15. So, equal to over 15. Ganyan. And after that, step number 2, add or subtract the numerators or the top numbers. Itong top numbers na ito, i-add or subtract daw. So in this case, minus tayo kasi minus yung operation dito. So 16 minus 4, that is 12. Ayan. Tapos syempre, step number 3, huwag kakalimutan, very important, simplify natin kung kaya pa. Or ilawis term natin kung kaya pa. So in this case, 12 saka 15. Kaya ko ba siyang i-divide agad? 12 divide 15? Ayan, may decimal. So wag. Uh, kapag mag-divide ka, make sure... Akong gagawin mo yung division na direct, directa, make sure na magiging sagot ay whole numbers or integer. Pero kung hindi, kailangan mong kuhanan ang GCF. So, eto, GCF tayo kung meron. 
So, si 12 saka 15, is there a number that we divide 12 saka 15? Meron. Right? At yung 12 saka 15 ay parang divisible sa 3. Right? So, kung parang yung divisible sa 3, we can divide 12 by 3 and 15 by 3. So, don't forget kung anong ginagawa sa taas, make sure gagawin mo sa baba para maging balance yung dalawa. Ayan. Then, divide lang natin. 12 divide 3, that's 4. Tapos, 5, 15 divide 3, that is 5. Ayan. So, meron pa ba? Is there a number that you divide 4 and 5? Wala na. Ayan. Except sa 1, syempre. Pero kapag 1, hindi na siya ginagamit. And that is now the final answer. Let's proceed to number 2. 8 over 3 plus 17 over 3. So, ato check muna natin kung similar fraction. Sir, similar po. 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 Ayan, similar. Kasi paraw silang 3 ang denominator. So, similar yan. Ayan. So, first, copy the bottom number that's over 3. Second step, i-plus natin. Bakit ko nasabi yung plus? Kasi plus yung operation. Plus yung top numbers. 18 plus 17, that's 25. And after that, simplify natin yung kaya pa. Kaya ko na bang i-divide sa 25 sa 3? Pwede, kaso may decimal. So kapag may decimal, wag muna. Wag gagawin yun. Ayan. Pero, mag-iisip tayo ng number na kung may GCF pa yung 25 sa 3. Wala din. Di ba wala siyang GCF? So, ang last resort natin, tingnan natin kung anong klaseng fraction ito. This is in improper fraction. So, kung improper fraction siya, di ba? I-require sa atin na kailangan siyang i-change into mixed number. So, we'll change this into mixed number. Paano nga po yung improper? Kapag mataas yung itaas compared sa ibaba. So, since mas mataas yung itaas compared sa ibaba, this is improper. And we'll change that into mixed number. So, how do we do that? Again, di-divide mo lang naman. Long division process. So, that's 25 ay nasa loob, 3 ay nasa labas, tapos continue ka lang ng division. So, that will give us uh, 8 and 1 third. Paano yon? Letter J, 8, tapos 1 ang uh, sinundan, tapos 3 ang huling dadaanan. So, that's 8 and 1 third. Ayan. And that will now be the final answer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned something today. And I want to see you in our next video. Abangan ninyo ang Next nating lesson, paano naman mag-add and mag-subtract kapag dissimilar fractions? Ayan. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you did, please don't forget to click subscribe and i-click mo rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga latest videos natin dito sa UMRPH. And please do share this to your friends, to your classmates, especially to the parents na kailangan ng gatong lessons para maituro nila sa mga mga anak. And don't forget that you deserve more, you can learn more, and you can be more. Hashtag, you more teach. Bye-bye! See you in our next video.